Oh, okay. Hi guys, uh, quick introduction, uh, introduction of myself. Uh, I'm Li Hao. Uh, today I'm going to talk about learn in public. Um, so uh, basically it's going to be about my learning journey. Well, not all of them are learning publicly, right? Because uh, not learning in public doesn't mean that you don't learn, right? Uh, so I'm just going to go through like uh, how I usually learn or do things, right? Uh, maybe you don't have to really learn in public. So uh, I think I most of the time actually are learning in private, where uh, besides watching YouTube and Netflix, uh, what I do is I read a lot of video articles, uh, used to, now kind of not that much, uh, but I, I really do watch like conference videos uh, on YouTube. They are really great, especially they are kind of like curated, uh, diversified uh, content where you don't really know what you're going to watch the next video because they are like a lot of different kind of topics, right? Um, and and most of my times are spending writing a lot of useless code uh, at, at, uh, privately. Basically, they are kind of useless. I don't really use them or I'm just like write for fun and then I throw it away because I am lazy to continue it, right? So uh, basically, it's uh, I spend a lot of time just like reading and trying to understand uh, things online like tools and uh, technologies that we are using and a lot of times are like experimenting with my thoughts and things like that <coughs> right uh, and then after that uh, uh, it was midway through this I, I joined Shopee where Shopee really it's not okay I'm not paid to do this uh, talk, talk about this as well but <laughs> but we, we do have weekly sharing which is which I don't get it in my previous company right so every week we have sharings people share about different things like this one that we are at right now and and then the weekly sharings uh, transform into react knowledgeable where uh, a lot of people uh, come here to share their ideas or things that they learn and also to come here to participate and listen right that's what we do every week and uh, another thing is uh, once in a while when i found like something interesting I think some of us do as well. When we found something interesting, we like post it on Metamos, our internal chat uh, channel, where we talk about, hey, I found this thing, and we discuss about it. Sometimes we don't agree with each other, but you know, a lot of times it's more like, uh, it's it's more like a sharing, right? Uh, where it, it's more about getting more diversified opinions about something, right? Uh, it doesn't really mean that what you are sharing, it, what you shared is wrong or right. It's more like getting like a more open mind, right? And then we start to have this thing in our team where we call it a learning in public, which happens over the over this year, right? It all started when we come back from React Rally 2018. Yeah, it, it really all started from here where she came back and then she she start to like organize a lot of um, uh, she she starts to organize this React knowledgeable, and then she also starts to um try to reach out to different meetups in Singapore, which which is the uh Singapore CSS where we had a first talk CSS talk in Shopee, which is my first public meetup talk, right, um, and then I started uh create a blog, cause Kawi has one as well, uh. So she had this blog about uh, things that she's learning about, and I feel like, hey, I actually, I have been thinking about it. I've been thinking about doing it for a very long time, but I didn't have the momentum to start it. So I was like, oh, uh, maybe this is the time to start, right? And then I started using Twitter, because like a lot of, during a lot of meetups, uh, <laughs> she, like, Kawit, I think she, she told us like there's a lot of cool kids are using Twitter, right? There's a lot of cool stuff happening. So that's why I started using it. Uh, and also also this year, this like I went to my first conference, uh, like as a participant, uh, GSConf Asia. Um, and then I started to attend meetups, uh, most again mostly meetups by Gawei. She's now like <laughs> in Singapore CSS and RK, right? Uh, and then um, start to work on like open source uh, contribution and also because of Gawai as well because she, she started to upgrade our flow in our repository and then we hit a bug on Babel where like I was like digging into it and trying to figure out why 
and then that's how like I made my first MR on Babel. Uh, yeah, and then that's more learning in public again because she brought like Sean to our arcade once, right? Where we where where all this started like six months ago, where a lot of our team members starts to do things like learning in public, right? I guess you guys start to feel like a recurring team over here, where we <laughs> we. We really, like, the learning in public culture really starts from her. So I really want to, like, thank, like, Gao Wei for, like, starts this culture, you know, team. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think, like, like, after that, I'm just, like, working on paper a bit and most, now mostly looking to spell. But, yeah, that's not, not that important. So I guess, yeah, so I guess that's my summary of like what happened to me this year. Uh, so uh, uh, I think before, I still have some time, so I'm going to talk about some of my advice for people who want to like learn or improve themselves, right? So the first one is ask questions and answer questions. I think we, a lot of times we ask a lot of questions. Like some, sometimes people ask questions in Metamos. Sometimes people like take your chance opportunity to like answer it and things like that. Uh, definitely, I will judge you if you ask questions that are I think is stupid. Uh, but that doesn't matter, right? I mean, I was like, uh, I mean, pe people's opinion doesn't really matter because like a lot of times when you see sometimes when you ask questions and then people answer like different have people have different opinions. That doesn't really matter, right? We always we should always have open mind uh, and we shouldn't. Uh, judge or uh, like we shouldn't care too much about other people's opinion that, that's what I'm trying to say then next one would be sharing is caring uh, always when you find something interesting share to the group or like share in terms of like RK sharing uh, uh, that gives you like some uh, and while, while you share you give some of your opinions and thoughts about it right and that gives you kind of opportunity for people to start talking to you. So, so I have this story where uh, when I start sharing to talk about things like, uh, like Webpack or like Babel and things like that, then people start asking you questions about those things. And sometimes I don't really know the answer, right? But then it gives, like, it gives me more opportunity to dig into more stuff that I didn't originally have if I do it alone. If I just like saw this article and I just, okay, I learned this. And then I think that's it. But then when you share, you talk about it, people have different questions and then it starts to spawn into different different kind of things that you never really have chance to think about. That's uh, sharing. So another one would be uh, writing a blog, right? So uh, a lot of times when you learn something that you do a lot of research and then that, that is like an elusive idea that, or concept that you have, you have in mind, right? Writing a blog really helps you for uh, articulate out the concepts that you have, right? It's like a practice for you to uh, formalize your thoughts in a more formal way, right? So I hope, like, so I think like we should write a blog uh, for, for these three reasons, right? So articulate, organize your thoughts, and then you keep it as a journal where one day you can, uh, you will, you will um, be amazed by like when you look back, you're like, oh, I wrote something like, like some, something shitty like this a year ago. And then that's when you realize you improve a lot, right? A lot of times we just look at code that we wrote a year ago and then you realize, oh, I really improved a lot. I wouldn't do this anymore. Things like that, right? And then I think lastly, it's just open source. It's like, uh, besides like working in our code base, you learn code written by different people. Open source is like a bigger world out there where you can con like work with different peoples around the world and see how they write their code, right? It's just uh, a bigger code base. I think that, that in my opinion, is that that's it. Yeah. So I think that's the end of the sharing. Yeah. Thank you.